Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm excited, too. Hey, everyone. This is Leon from Fiasco and Prologue Projects. On this week's premium episode of 5 to 4, Peter, Rhiannon, and Michael are talking about Justice Sonia Sotomayor, who was appointed to the court by President Obama in 2009. After completing this exhaustive process, I have decided to nominate an inspiring woman who I believe will make a great justice, Judge Sonia Sotomayor of the great state of New York. As you'll hear, the hosts think highly of Sotomayor's jurisprudence. Her writing is clear, her dissents are bold, and she brings real-world experience to issues like illegal searches and the death penalty. But with the Democrats' hold on power in Washington tenuous at best, the hosts have to ask the question, should Sotomayor be thinking about retirement before a re-elected Donald Trump gets an opportunity to nominate his fourth Supreme Court justice? This is 5 to 4, a podcast about how much the Supreme Court sucks. Welcome to 5 to 4, where we dissect and analyze the Supreme Court cases that have terrorized our nation like Christmas music terrorizing retail employees during the holiday season. <laughs> wow. Yes. Visceral. I am Peter. <laughs> I'm here with Rhiannon. Hi. Hello, everyone. And Michael. Hey, everybody. I worked at The Gap in high school. Yeah. And the Christmas music definitely drove me slowly insane. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Although even more than that, there's like, you know, off-season music. It's like th- we had a one tape that was like, it had Mellow Yellow. You know, they call me Mellow Yellow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For months. And that song, like just the thought of it is like nauseating. <laughs> yeah. Like, so. yeah, everyone I know who's worked retail has a couple songs that they just like can no longer hear. Yeah. For um, sure. That's lasting psychological yes, damage. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. Right. I, of course, never worked retail um, <laughs> due to my inability to handle human interaction. <laughs> so They put me in the front of the store, man. I was like, big beaming smile. Yeah, I'll bet yeah. Mr. Gap over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not me. I was mopping floors at a nursing home uh, ages 15 to 18. I thought that was preferable than talking to someone. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I worked at a restaurant in high school. I worked at a tanning salon. Nice. You can take the girl out of Dallas, but you can't take the <laughs> Dallas out of the girl. <laughs> All right. Today's episode, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Special episode. We recently did a premium episode on Justice Samuel Alito, and so we thought this episode was necessary to restore balance to both the universe and our collective emotional state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it in the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit lighter of a subject matter, of a topic than our usual. Yeah. We're going to dive into her personal and professional history, some of the controversies surrounding her nomination to the court, her work, her jurisprudence, and one of the hot topics in Supreme Court discourse, the question of whether she needs to retire right fucking now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Rhi, I'll hand it over to you. Sure. Yeah, let's jump in. This is like a much more interesting to me life story than um, we usually get to talk about uh, in terms of like the Supreme Court justices. Right. Mm -hmm. So Sonia Maria Sotomayor was born on June 25th, 1954. This makes her if you are waiting on the edge of your seat for her astrological sign, (laughs) it is cancer. Our emotional water placement queen. She was born and raised in the Bronx. Both her parents were native Puerto Ricans. She grew up in the projects, extremely humble beginnings, as opposed to several other members of the court. And her dad passed away when she was nine years old. So after that, she was raised by her single mom, Selena, who was a nurse. Sotomayor graduated valedictorian of her high school class in 1972, and then she went on to Princeton, where she got a scholarship. Hey, folks, if you want to hear the rest of this episode, you're going to have to subscribe. Uh, This episode is one of our premium Patreon-only episodes. Membership starts at just five bucks a month, so if you want to hear the rest, join us at patreon.com slash 54pod. That's 54pod all spelled out. 
Members get a bunch of stuff. Not only do you get access to the premium episodes, but access to subscriber-only events, discounts on merch. Uh, and at the $10 a month level, you get bigger discounts on merch and membership in the incredibly rowdy 5 to 4 Slack. So again, that's patreon.com slash 5-4-pod, 5-4-pod all spelled out. Uh, become a member today.